If you're looking for an ultra slim minimal stick case, then this Spigen Ultra Hybrid case is just for you. However, there's one big problem. You must know about this case before you consider buying this case, which I'll explain later in this video. But first, let's see what's good. So the first thing that caught my eye about the Spigen Ultra Hybrid MagSafe case is its slick look and stylish design. This case is so thin and light. Add to that a transparent back, it's a minimalist stream. The best thing about this case is that it feels amazing in hand, especially for one-handed use. This case has rounded edges and it gives this awesome feel in hand. However, Spigen could have added some texture to the sides of the case to make it more grippy though. Spigen uses some kind of resin to its case which makes it resistant to yellowing and after months of use, it's evident. By the way, if you look closer, this case has tiny little pegs around its corners. This feet help the iPhone to stay still on top of the table with minimum wobble. I love this tiny detail that Spigen has added to the case. Having said that, I love the addition of MagSafe to this case though. The magnets are strong. They are stronger than Apple's but slightly weaker than ESR's cases. This case effortlessly snaps into place on my iPhone, aligning perfectly with the MagSafe charging coil for a secure connection. The alignment is spot on, ensuring that MagSafe accessories attach securely and charge efficiently. Now let's talk durability. Well, clear cases are notoriously bad when it comes to durability. However, the combination of hard polycarbonate back and a flexible TPU bumper provides reliable protection against everyday drops, bumps and scratches. Now let's talk about the buttons. And here comes my biggest problem with this case. The buttons are mediocre at best. The worst being the action button. They're super mushy with zero tactile feedback. I hate pressing it. But compared to that, the volume up and down and the power buttons are much better. But they still lack the springiness that I expect from other speaking cases. By the way, this case has three cutouts at the bottom of the case. The cutout for the speaker and microphone simply wraps around tightly around the grills. But in contrast, the cutout for the Type-C port is big and wide. As a result, third-party cables of varying shape and sizes can be easily fit without any problem. Overall, this case ticks all the right boxes. It's a transparent case which doesn't become yellow over time. It's a MagSafe compatible case. Fits very well in hand and when it comes to durability, it is good enough. Not great, but good. By the way, if you want a very durable case for your iPhone, then click here and I'll see you there.